The Action Recorder essentially allows you to program without knowing any programming code. It works by recording exactly what you do, and then you can play back and customize this recorded sequence of steps later on. Suppose that you realize that you are frequently creating double-headed multi-leaders on an annotation layer in the course of your work. This should jog your memory that you ought to create an action macro to save time, so that you don't have to always perform the same sequence of repetitive steps. Our game plan in this lesson is to create an action macro that records the process of creating a new layer, assigning it a color, setting it current, drawing a multi-leader, and adding a second leader object to the multi-leader. So to get started, go to the Drafting and Annotation workspace, and then click the Manage tab on the ribbon. In the Action Recorder panel, click Record. Then go to the Annotate panel. Notice that there is a red circle next to the cursor. This indicates that you are currently recording. However, there's no need to hurry. You can take as much time as you like, but each thing that you do will be added to the list of steps in the Action Macro. So the first thing I want to do is create a new layer. But instead of using the Layer Properties Manager, which is how I would normally do this sort of thing, if I'm creating an Action Macro, I need to do the command line version of this action. So I'm going to have to use the dash layer command. This forces AutoCAD to use the command line version. So I'll press Enter, and you'll see all the options of the layer command appear here on the command line, rather than in the Layer Properties Manager palette interface. So now I'll type M for Make, and press Enter. It says Enter Name for New Layer, becomes the current layer. I'll type annotation as the name. So not only does this create the layer, but it also sets it current. If the layer already exists, this will simply set it current. So I'll press Enter. And then I'd like to assign a color to that layer. So I'll type C Enter for color. And then I can either type in a color name or a color number. I'll type color 30, which is an orange color and press Enter. It says, Enter Name List of Layers for Color 30. Now in this case, I want to assign Color 30 to the Annotation layer, so I'm going to type that in. Annotation. Enter. And then Enter one more time to end the layer command. Go to the Home tab, and you'll see that there's an Annotation layer which is current, and it has this orange color. So far, so good. Next, Go to the Annotate tab and click the Multi-Leader tool here on the Leaders panel. It says Specify Leader Arrowhead Location. I'll just click some arbitrary point on the screen. Now it says Specify Leader Landing Location. I'll click some other point off to the side. And then I'll type in some sample text here and then click Close Text Editor. So the multi-leader object has been created. Now the whole point of this is to create a multi-leader with two arrowheads on it. So that can be accomplished by clicking on this tool right here, which is add an arrow to the multi-leader. Then select the multi-leader object and click another arbitrary point to add the arrow. Then press Enter to end the command. So at this point, I think I've done everything that I set out to do, but we're still in record mode. So let's go to the Manage tab, and then click Stop in the Action Recorder panel. At this point, we're prompted to save an Action Macro command name. So go up here, highlight this name, and type Double Headed Multi Leader. All one word without any spaces. And then click OK. So in this lesson, you recorded the raw data from a sequence of steps in an action macro.